Well, my friends, thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of Take Time Out. And my illustration today for this devotion comes from something we see every day when we drive. Every day, over 227 million drivers climb into their cars and take to the highways to this country. Daily commuters sit in traffic on highways and city streets, and they take in the scenery, which most likely includes what's behind me, bright fluorescent orange traffic cones. Then when you arrive at your destination, many times you will see orange cones in the parking lot, and then you walk inside of your destination, you see orange cones on the floor. It's believed at any given moment, about 140 million traffic cones are used globally, including the two that I have sitting behind me. They're being used right now for illustration. Hey, that's a lot of traffic cones. Even though they are a part of our everyday lives, even though they can cause us to be inconvenienced, have you ever thought about the reason they are there? Orange safety cones were created for the intention to create buffer zones, safety zones, buffer space on the highways. And what they do is they separate the workers from oncoming traffic or hazardous situations. They're there for protection. I thought about these orange cones and many times I admit I've thought about them negatively. But I started thinking that orange cones do have a benefit in life. First of all, I thought about this, orange cones alert us. Because of the bright orange, you cannot miss it. They're designed to alert you something is getting ready to change up the road, or there's a safety zone ahead, or there's a boundary. They, they also, because they alert me, they, they slow us down. Because we've been alerted by the orange, we have a natural tendency to slow down. Our immediate reaction is to slow down because you don't want your vehicle or you don't want to be danger to somebody else or some, a dangerous situation to happen. They also warn us. On the highway, we're warned by these orange cones. If you pass the cones, you may go head on with another vehicle. There may not be a bridge there. There are people working. So orange cones also, they alert us, they warn us, they, they slow us down, but they also direct us. On the highway, when you follow the cones at a slower pace, it guides you to a safer spot. Sometimes it may be a detour to get you off course temporarily and bring you back on. Sometimes they're used outside of construction to guide us, guide pedestrian traffic. Sometimes they're used in athletic fields and parking lots and indoor events and ballet parking and crosswalks. But when you stop to think about the benefits of orange cones, we can conclude, though they inconvenience us, especially when we're in a hurry. They are there for our protection as well as the safety of others. Orange cones are definitely the unsung hero of the traffic world. We see them every day, but we rarely consider them. And when we do, we think negatively of them. But just stop and think of all the places in your day that orange safety cones are used to create safe environments and they help us, they benefit us. Though they may be an inconvenience, we're still thankful for them. So when I think about the orange cones, I think about the illustration of our God book for living, the, the Word of God, God's Word, the Bible. It also can be like those orange cones, the unsung hero. Sometimes we overlook the Bible. Sometimes we keep them in conspicuous places and we still overlook them. But when we get into them and we think about the verse, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, it says this, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, may be complete, thoroughly equipped, thoroughly furnished for every good work. And I think about that verse and I think about how my life, scripture in my life and scripture in your life is like that orange cone. On the highway of life, the word of God serves to alert me. It serves to slow me down at times to consider something important. It, it, it serves to warn me, warn us about a sin or a danger in our life, and it directs our paths. But in that verse, the scripture is proper for doctrine, what's right, for correction, for, for reproof, what's not right, for correction, how to get right, for instruction, how to stay right. With this in mind, we have a choice whether or not we obey, we choose to obey the orange cones. Think about it. In my life, there have been times driving where I ignore the orange cones and try to make my own way and I almost got in trouble with the law worse almost hitting head on with another car but when we choose to ignore the orange cones we set ourselves up for potential danger to our lives as well as maybe possibly for harm the lives of others so we must remember 
today, though they may inconvenience us, orange cones, the word of God, are there for our protection and the safety of others. In life, the teaching and principles of God's word, the Bible, may temporarily inconvenience me, may temporarily inconvenience you when you choose to obey, but disobedience costs us far more than obedience. Scripture, long-term obedience to the Word of God, our protection, and that of others. Hope this is a good thought and challenge for you. Always be hungry for God's Word. Allow it to speak to your heart. Allow it to direct your paths. That's the challenge. That's the thought for today, the orange cone. Have a great day. God bless you.